From 1929 to 1958, Frank Eaton lived in this home in Perkins, Oklahoma. Eaton was a deputy U.S. Marshal, scout, and a true American cowboy. At the age of 15, he traveled to Fort Gibson to work on his shooting skills. While there, he became a master of the quick draw, out shooting all of the soldiers, earning himself the nickname Pistol Pete. All of us, we've been bleeding orange since birth. Uh, Grandpa Eaton started uh, the mascot in the 1920s where he was on the sidelines firing the guns, the shotguns, riding his horses around. Before the cowboy caricature mascot Oklahoma State fans know today, there was Frank Pistol Pete Eaton. From 1928 until 1957, he walked those sidelines trying to get everyone spirited. He was just a very larger-than-life, colorful cowboy. When students were in the 1920s looking for a new mascot for Oklahoma State University, he was the Grand Marshal of, I believe, an Armistice Day parade. And um, students just said, hey, that's perfect. The original big head or ugly head, whatever you want to call it, I'm sorry. But uh, it, it's very frightening. I've seen it, and it is frightening. Uh, it didn't become the official state mascot until 1958. Up until that time, 1957, homecoming is the last time Grandpa Eaton was at the stadium. And at 97 years old, at halftime, homecoming, he got on top of a Butterfield Overland stagecoach and rode around the inside of the stadium firing a double barrel shotgun. Using Eaton's likeness, Pistol Pete made his official debut in 1958. To this day, those auditioning for the role are reminded of the icon they represent. I was at the tryout with, along with my uncle. That's what they told they tell him. Said, look, you are not just a mascot, you're actually portraying a real life individual that did exist, and you're gonna do it right, not only for the school, but also for the, his family. You're literally the face of the university, and you know, that's what you're always thinking about is, you know, you know, if I'm gonna go react to a call at a basketball game or something, you know. It's not like you're just like a fluffy guy in a costume. Like you're literally, Pistol Pete's head is the OSU's, you know, logo. You're also representing a family of people. And that's a big family and they live a long time. So you can guarantee any event you're at, there will be a bunch of Eatons there and they're paying attention to what you're doing. And so you better do a good job of representing them and their grandfather, their great grandfather. I think it's awesome. I, I really appreciated that they go through that process and that screening process and making sure that, that they really understand what it means. Now, being Pistol Pete means even more. Accepting the award for Frank Pistol Pete Eaton's induction into the great Westerners Hall of Fame are his grandchildren, William Weiss, or Wise, Dal Wise, and Dinah Wagner surrounded by the support of OSU's former Pistol Pete's over the years. On April 9th, Frank Eaton was inducted into the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum Hall of Great Westerners. You know, uh, he, to me, he is a symbol of Oklahoma. He really was one of the original Oklahoma Territory cowboys and, and um, and you know the law enforcement background, the um, everything about him was just authentic. Um, so I, I I do think, and that and the connection to OSU, of course, and I, I think that all ties together to make it uh, make him worthy. In attendance, over 20 Pistol Pete alumni honoring the man they once portrayed. I think it says uh, something about uh, their dedication to the school. Uh, how much they enjoyed what they did. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a, an honor, thing, you know, for, for our granddad. I think since, since the connection to OSU is there, I feel like it's important for them to be there. Everyone would love people to be like them. They are fantastic. I can't say enough about their mannerisms. They're just great people. They truly are.
I have twin grandchildren and a boy girl. The mascot came to their school and um, so I, I think um, it's important to just keep the generations going and, and not just that but also the, the history, the history part of everything that Granddad did. That's how I got my name with Pistol Pete. I learned how to use them guns. I can use them yet better than any man in the state, I think. Frank Eaton's grandchildren told me he was quite the practical joker and loved playing pranks on anyone who visited their home. They continue to share stories about their grandfather every year at their family reunion, and the guest of honor is always OSU's Pistol Pete.